hoses of water. There are two main types of sources of water, surface water and ground water. Surface water is found in lakes, rivers and streams and is drawn into the public water supply by an intake. As we all know, surface water is exposed to many different contaminants such as animal waste, pesticides, insecticides, industrial waste, algae and many other organic materials. Whereas groundwater is located underground in large aquifers and must be pumped out of the ground after drilling a deep well. Unlike surface water, groundwater commonly contains less contamination than surface water because the rock tends to act as a filter to remove some contaminants. Forests maintain the groundwater table by maintaining the rainwater flow and by absorbing water by a root system of plants. Porous forest soils and debris stores the water, allowing the slow release of water into surface waters and groundwater. But now, recently, groundwater pollution is one of the major issues that has become a threat globally. And this pollution occurs as a result of release of pollutants into the ground to natural underground water reservoirs known as aquifers. It is also a type of water pollution that is mainly caused by release of substances either intentionally or accidentally through human activities or natural causes. If you are looking into the causes of it, the natural causes are like substances found in the soils and rocks can be dissolved in water causing contamination. Others such as decaying materials in the soil may seep in underground water and move with it as particles. Next is hazardous waste disposal. Hazardous waste such as photographic chemicals, motor oil, cooking oil, paint thinners, medicines, swimming pool chemicals, paints and garden chemicals should not be disposed into septic tanks or directly into the environment as they cause serious contamination. Petroleum products are also a threat or is also one of the causes for groundwater pollution. Petroleum storage tanks are either located underground or above ground. Also the transportation of petroleum products is mainly done underground using pipelines. Leakages from these substances can lead to contamination of water. The chemicals spilled become diluted with water and seep into the ground. Landfills Landfills are the places that our garbage is taken to be buried. Landfills are supposed to have a protective bottom layer to prevent contaminants from getting into the water. However, if there is no such layer or if it is cracked, contaminants from the landfill can make their way down into the underground. Now let's think how to draw this groundwater or how to make use of this groundwater or how can we draw the groundwater out and make use of it in our fields. Groundwater is drawn out either through tube wells or bore wells or even wells. Why is it important? Groundwater is the largest source of usable fresh water in the world. In many parts of the world, especially where surface water supplies are not available, domestic, agricultural and industrial water needs can only be met by using the water beneath the ground. But can we keep on drawing water from underground? Will that affect the water table? That is a question that we should really think of. And the answer to it is, the water drawn from under the ground gets replenished by seepage of rainwater. 
The water table is not affected as long as we draw as much water as is replenished by natural processes and however, it may go down if the water is not sufficiently replenished. And for that water to be replenished, we need enough rainfall. And that again points our fingers towards another major problem that we are facing now which is deforestation which affects in the reduced amount of annual rainfall in most of the parts of the world now. And here there is a new word for you, seepage, it's pronounced seepage which means the slow escape of a liquid or gas through porous material or small holes. Fine. So I hope the uh, topic is clear to you. So in this video we have discussed on the main two sources of water which is surface water and groundwater. And we have looked more into the groundwater because that is uh, one of the most important sources of water right now which we are using.